If I were Rishi Sunak's adviser having to deliver him the papers this morning, I'd be a little bit worried. <laughs> yes, yeah, so would I. <laughs> um, they don't make happy reading for the Prime Minister at all. And what he's got to do, what he's got to do at the moment, he's got sort of um, three priorities. The first has got to be sorting out the strikes, which are set to paralyse us at the beginning of this year. Then he needs to try and tackle the cost of living crisis, which is obviously behind the, stri the, the strike action. And finally, uh, which he says is a big priority, is to deal with immigration. So he's got a lot on his plate in 2023. Yes, and of course, the terrible news over the weekend and again today in the papers is, of course, what's going on in the NHS. I mean, there have been so many horror stories. You've got senior medics calling for something to be done. It does seem like we're very much, we always say this every winter, the NHS is in crisis. Um, so we have some perspective to give there. But it does seem like something is different now. People are saying it's worse than even at the height of the pandemic. Yes, and I think that, that uh, uh, Adrian Boyle of the Royal College of Emergency Medicine has really confirmed what we all suspected, that people are dying because the NHS is just not working. Uh, he puts the figure at up to, up to fi uh, 500. Um, now, I mean, it, quite clearly, you need to do something major with the NHS. It requires major reform. In the short term, you're talking about more money, more beds, more staff. Um, and also getting on with actually building new hospitals that Boris Johnson promised 40 of them uh, at the last election. And at the moment, work has only started on seven. Now, what we've got to do is that there is a that there is the short term problem, and that is to try and try and sort out A&E, try and get people into hospital beds rather than waiting on trolleys. And then we've got to look at the long term solution. What do you do about the NHS going forward? Because it's just not working at the moment. Also, it's been commented upon um, over the weekend and throughout the festive period that Rishi Sunak has been, uh, well, a bit missing in action. Do you think he's got the bottle to deal with all of these very many challenges? I mean, the Daily Mail, as you said at the start, really, Rishi's triple New Year headache, um, the strikes, the NHS and, of course, the Channel migrants. Has he got the bottle? He seems to have been a little bit too absent. Yes, and, and certainly if I was advising him, I'd say uh, get out there. Um, he's stopped putting putting ministers up for uh, the morning round on TV and radio. That, I think, is a mistake. I think it's important that you have the government out there actually telling people what they're going to do about the various problems that we're facing. So the fact that he, 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 he seems to have completely disappeared doesn't actually inspire confidence. Now, we're not expecting him to actually announce a new policy every 10 minutes. What you are, what, what I think that the, the voters expect is to see their prime minister out and about getting on with the job. Now, he may well, well be working, working very hard behind the scenes, but I think he does actually need to be more visible to inspire that kind of confidence.